Hey, what's up guys? It is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm here with a brand new tutorial video for you guys. Um, since I uploaded my last speed level design, by the way, if you haven't watched it yet, there is going to be a link in the description below so you can, you know what I'm referring to. Um, on my last speed level design, however, there was a lot of people that suggested me to make a grass video or simply a video like a tutorial video where I just simply show how I make my grass look so good. So, um, as you may know, the detailed or the grass in unity that comes with the terrain settings they are not very detailed so when people see that i have a high quality grass in my scenes they often get really shocked so i decided that i would make this video so if you find it helpful and enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and let's get started with this so first and foremost i obviously want to start by adding um, a new grass so i'm just going to click this button right here which is edit details add new grass texture and then drag a um, texture into the slot here, detail texture. Um, basically, what I want to clarify is the fact that this level has already, once again, been made in my previous speed level design video. So I do have a level already here, obviously. And that also means that I am going to use the standard or the default grass that I had used in my actual video. So uh, whatever the grass that I used in that was actually from post Apple pack. Um, I am going to link the asset in the descri description below, but you don't really need to have the same one. So it's not really that important what kind of texture you're using. The technique is to teach you guys, for me, the technique is to teach you guys how you can actually make any grass texture look better than the standard one. So no matter what you're using, even if you pay or download something for free, if you're using the standard one that comes with Unity for free, um, you should be able to make it look a lot better with these techniques. So I did add the grass texture here. So next up, what I want to do is I also didn't play around with the properties. So I just want to place it here to see how it looks in my scene. And I also do have post processing effects, by the way, so they are enabled. Um, I could disable them, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference. The only thing that really makes a difference here is the fact that I have ambient occlusion and um, screen space ambient obscurance on. So these two effects, as you can see, they add this shadowing effect to the, to the grasses. And the fun part is that they are both for free. They come with the default, um, default post-processing stacks with Unity. Uh, in 5.6, but you can obviously also download the legacy version, so they both work very well. Um, so yeah, it's not gonna make any, you know, it's not really gonna make a difference if I disable them because they are since since they are really just free, um, you can just download them anyway. So yeah, and you can see that I already placed my grass here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button again, and then I'm going to click on edit. And um, what I usually tend to do is to change the minimum width and mi maximum width to 0.1 or 0.5, sorry, and then one. So minimum on 0.5 and then maximum on one. Um, that makes sure that makes sure that the grass doesn't look too thick, like it usually does in Unity uh, when you s by standard just add the grass. So because we are also going to make the grass really really short. Uh, because that's kind of like a technique to compensate for the quality or lack of quality in your grass texture. So that's a really good technique that I almost use ever, like ever since I discovered that, I, I've been using it on my speed level design. So I do suggest you guys strongly to do it as well. And in this video, I do showcase for you guys. So it's, it's a really big positive plus there. And um, minimum height, I usually, like it really depends on the scaling that you have on your level. Like if the map is too big, if your objects are too big, obviously you may not want to use these uh, values that I do set, but minimum width and mi maximum width should be 0.5 and 1 if you want to have the same effect. But the height can be played around by you. So you you know feel free to obviously edit any property at all. So uh, minimum height though, I usually set it to 0.3. And then maximum, I usually have it like 0.5. 0.4 sometimes because I don't want it to be too tall. I am going to have other tall grasses too to um, sort of mix them up. And um, I don't want to use these as tall grasses. So 0.4 and 0.3 actually could be really, really good. But I do want like a, actually I don't even need that slight height change that I that is going to be added if I have it on 0.4. Um, if I have this on 0.3 and then minimum, if I have both minimum and maximum on 0.3, it's obviously not going to surpass that value, meaning that it's always going to be 
um, sort of like linear. And I could use that, honestly. Um, I thought that it would be a bad idea at first, but it's really, it, it does work out. I mean, for my specific level, it would work out. But if you have like hills and all that if in your level, you may want to use a little bit higher um, value for maximum height. So once again, it's really up to you how you want to play around with the values, but that's pretty much how I do it. And um, what I also do is I take dry color to white. So I just have it on white instead of yellow. Um, and also healthy color, now I can play around with this value. I usually take it on a little bit like really tanned out green, uh, not vibrant because the default one is very vibrant, vibrant and um, it doesn't really look that good. So what I usually do is I take it almost like kind of in the middle of white and green, honestly. Um, I think that's pretty good. I'm just focusing on my game window here to see how it looks like I don't I barely even care about the scene window right now because the lighting and the post processings are not obviously um, going to affect the grass in the scene window so I don't really care about that but the color right now seems to be good and obviously I am going to perhaps I am going to come back to this and play around with the properties a little bit more because I am going to paint my ter uh, terrain with the grass now so I want to see how it looks when I fill out the scene because that's an important part. Right now we just have a portion of the grass or a portion of the terrain filled with grass. It's a really, really small part. So I wanna fill the area a little bit better. And you can see that I am obviously using a technique to paint the textures to the terrain too. Um, it's not really like a specific technique really. It's just simply that I have a dirt road here in the middle and then grass here and then grass here. So dirt road in the middle. And then to the right of this, I have a dirt road again, just to add that. Um, just to add that little bit of specular um, shader, I guess, just to have it a little bit more shiny rather than the grass, so it looks beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint the grassy part here, and obviously not paint the... Um, oh, and also, you could use... Um, it's, re it's really important to use a lower opacity rather than one, because if you use one, grass is going to be all over the place whatever you paint so and you probably don't want that to happen because obviously if you paint it all over the place it's not going to look you know it's going to look too tight in between the grasses you want to have this little bit of gap in between them and let the player see the ground texture and obviously the color which is really important the color from the ground should be visible slightly and barely so um it's really important to have this little gap in between the uh, the grasses so I usually do that, and I would strongly suggest you guys as well. Um, I'm just gonna complete my, or my my painting on the terrain right now. As you can see, once again, the if you look at the game window, you can see the gap, uh, or the gaps perhaps in between the grasses, which looks really good, um, like that. And if you also one more technique that I could pretty much like, or perhaps like a, a feedback I could give is that if you're if you're going to delete your uh, grass, delete a little bit extra like this and then add again because the opacity is not going to work as well with deleting um, compared to when you're actually painting the grass. So when you paint back, it's going to look a little bit more gappy once again and that's what you want to have. So uh, that's a suggestion. But you could also, you know, just delete them. But it's going to look a little bit more linear and straight then. So it's really just up to you how you want to have it. Um, I feel like the color and the and the um, the scaling of the grass, like the general scaling, the width and the height, looks really, really good. They both look really, really good, IMO. So um, I, can, I could keep it like this, honestly. I'm just going to keep on painting and see how it looks at the end. I'm not going to paint the whole terrain because obviously we don't have time for that. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that I paint enough portion of the terrain, uh, cover up a big part of it, just to make sure that I do have a like g generalized uh, view of the grass honestly. So, so that I don't really judge the grass by just looking at a small part of the terrain because that's not going to make any sense. Um, so yeah, I also want to paint it here just to once again see the effect. Um, because obviously when you're looking, like when your camera is far from this part of the grass, but really close to this part, they are going to look a little bit different because uh, obviously the shadows are much stronger here since the rock is, rock and the trees in the background are blocking this portion of the map, but 
this part is really lit up so you want to sort of compare them to and uh, make sure that your grass looks beautiful no matter what because if your grass looks beautiful in one portion and the other portion is just really terrible th like that's why are you even working on it then right so you want to make sure that it always looks good no matter what um, I think that's pretty good uh, for the painting part I don't want to make like a painting tutorial right now <laughs> Um, I th do think that the painting is quite good and um, we can now at we now at least have like a template or perhaps like a prototype to look at and go well the grass could use some work here um, I do feel like I could play around with the values a little bit more for the color so I'm actually just going to open up the properties field and see if they they do fit or if I can change the color and you can see that immediately as soon as I change the color to a little bit more vibrant green it really turns way too vibrant and that's not the thing that I suggest you to use because the scene is already washed out a little bit by the sun shafts and the god rays so you don't really you know you already had the bloom too you don't really want to have too vibrant color on the grasses because these are going to reflect to the bloom and the sun shafts are not gonna uh, are going to make it look a little bit more washed out if you used two vibrant colors because the colors are going to mix mix up a little bit so if you just have a little bit more washed up color on the grass itself or like a tanned green color like this um, it's going to have a little better uh, a little bit better um, effect on the general scene I guess because it's not only important that your grass fits but it must suit your level too um, depending on what kind of level you're making or whatever kind of genre game you're making too so it's really important to make sure that everything fits with each other it's like puzzle on honestly uh, it's almost like puzzle like you want to make sure that all the pieces go together uh, if one piece doesn't go together what well the game is not gonna work out so you want to make sure that everything works well um, I do believe that these settings are really really good and I hope that I could teach you guys at least something here by showing you how you can actually play around with the values and I am going to show you once more if I take minimum height to 1 um, to whatever standard value was and um, maximum height to 2 minimum width to 1 and then 2 at the uh, maximum width you can see that it doesn't look that good because obviously it doesn't fit with my scene then again I could paint it again but even if I do like delete this part of the grass you can see that it's gonna block a huge part of this so you're barely going to be able to see the grass or the models um, hiding beneath them uh, notice how I say that they are hiding beneath your grass which is nothing that you want your grass should be just a decor for your scene the models should be the main focus but the grass is supposed to look good to actually ensure that the models that are actually on these grasses um, you know do look good as well so you don't want to use way too vibrant colors and nor do you want to use way too big scale on the grass this is grass not just not trees or bushes you want to use them a little bit smaller than usual um, so 0.5 once again and then 1 no 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 I was actually using 0 0.3 0 0.3 there we go uh, the height or the height and the minimum height and maximum height was 0 0.3 and then minimum width was 0 0.5 and the maximum width was 1 so that's those are the values um, once again you can play around with these values as much as you want if I use 0.2 at both it does work out but it looks I like in my eyes it looks a little too short now so 0.3 really really works out perfectly IMO but then again it really depends on how you see your level 2 so um, I can't really you know teach you or command you to do something specific but this, this is just what I do specifically so I wanted to make sure to showcase that for you guys so that you have a example to outgo from when you're actually making your level so yeah that is pretty much it guys and then obviously you can add some external grasses to your scenes uh, to make it look better and um, post processing effects once again if I even if I disable these uh, prism and the post processing behavior script you can still see that the grass looks better uh, than the usual one obviously I can also increase the light intensity I did play around with the settings a little bit because I do have these um, these post processing effects right now so they don't really look that good without them because I have played around with the lighting settings so yeah that is pretty much it guys I hope you all enjoyed this video um, if you did, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon like this one. And um, 
if you have any feedback, if you have any suggestions, and also if you wanna let us know how you do your grass, let, let us all know in the comments down below. Um, I do like to see you guys discuss with each other and then I can jump in or hop in and then, you know, discuss with you guys. So this is really fun for me to have this kind of uh, almost like a responsibility for such a beautiful community, honestly. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to stay up to tune and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.